Okay families, I just wanted to show you guys a quick video and I would really love for you to sit down with your child and have them watch it so they can understand and know the different Zoom features that we have on the iPad so that when we are in group, they are able to quickly navigate and know where things are. So the first one is right now, they are in speaker view. For the most part, they're always gonna want to be in speaker view so that they can see very big what we are doing in small group or what we are doing in any of our Zooms. If they want to change that or see their friends, if they hit that plus sign on here, they can see their friends now across the bottom as well as um, a big picture of my lesson and me at in the middle. So they can kind of get rid of that by clicking that plus sign. They also can go up and they can hit gallery view. Now, if there was 10, 15 friends on here, they would see kind of like the Brady Bunch, a bunch of little different um, squares with all of their friends' pictures in them. But for the most part, we wanna keep them in that speaker view so that they can easily see what is going on with the lesson. I also want to show you they know the leave button, they know the unmute button. The three dots here at the top is going to open up the chat box. And I want them in the mornings, they're going to hit chat, they're going to come down here to the bottom, and they are then going to type their name to help them sign in each morning. And then that pops up in the chat box. They can also close that when they are done. The next feature that I want to show you guys that they will start using next week, and I would really like for you again to show them this video, and also um, if you guys can log into Zoom, have them practice that as well. But when they touch the screen, everything goes away, and they obviously have to touch to bring it back up. They should see this pen down at the bottom with the blue circle. I had a few friends yesterday that could not find that. So if you could help them navigate that, that would be great. Please make sure they're using Google Chrome as opposed to the actual Zoom app. I don't know if that would make a difference, but when they touch the screen, that blue pen pops up and then it pops up a toolbar. I wanna be able to use this as much as possible so that they can be engaged with what we are doing. So I'll tell them to touch their screen, click on the pen. I might tell them to change the color. I don't really wanna work with thickness because then it kinda of makes their letters be very um, jumbled up, but they can change the color. If they make a mistake, they can get rid of it. But we mainly are probably gonna work with the pen or we're going to work with the highlighter. And so when they have that, they can then draw on the screen, they can write their name. So keep their stylus close by. Um, but please make sure that they figure out and can navigate this pin down in the bottom corner. It only pops up while I'm sharing the screen. So it's not gonna pop up all the time just while I am sharing the screen. Um, those are really the features that I really want them to know is the pin, the gallery view, and then being able to pop up and see their friends, as well as, let me stop sharing the screen, as well as the three dots in the top right corner to be able to type their name. So again, please just take a few minutes, show them this video, maybe show it to them multiple times so that they can be familiar with the features and be able to navigate because it's really hard on my end to help them navigate that through the screen when I can't see what they're looking at. So they might come to you and say, mom, I need help. Just either put their headphones on and see what it is I need from you or um, listen to, the, you know, to me if they don't have headphones. I will only send them to you if I can't help them navigate through the screen. But hopefully this video will help.